Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com, and I'm here today to talk about a cool product called Perfectly Clear. Now, what I have here are a series of images that are basically as they've come out of the camera. There might be some minor cropping, as in the case of this photo, but otherwise there are no prior modifications to these photos. And what I'm going to do is come up here, go to Authentic Imaging, choose perfectly clear v2 and we're going to show you how this product works so I have these presets and I have these detail adjustments but generally speaking I'm going to focus on the presets for a lot of these images where all I did was load this product um, using the details preset and if I click I can see it before and after pretty amazing difference and I've done nothing but load this and click on details. I'm able to come in here and make adjustments to the changes that have been made but oftentimes I find that the uh, algorithms used for the default settings are really quite good. So I'll click it, come in here, click OK. Boom. I just made this image look a whole lot better in seconds without doing any significant work. So I'm going to close that one, go to another one. Actually, let's go over here. And so here's a portrait of uh, myself, actually, with my really deep, dark uh, eye sockets, one of the big problems I have, which makes it a real challenge to get my eyes lit properly. So I actually make a good subject for doing some uh, facial fix-up. Now, if you've ever used any products that fix up faces, you know that they're a pain in the ass to go through and make adjustments to like figure out where the eyes and where the teeth and all these things are. It's very time consuming. Um, and so what I want to show you here is I, with really just a single click of a button, I can say beautify, or I can say beautify plus. And if you notice really carefully there, if I do it before and after, you'll see it even slimmed my face, it brightened my eyes, it brightened the circles underneath my eyes, it brightened my teeth, it did a whole lot of things. Now, sometimes you may say, hey, that was a little too much, I don't really like what it did there. So I can come in here and make some adjustments, and I can see exactly what it did. If I come in here and turn off skin tone, it's minor, but I can see what it, the uh, slight changes it made teeth whitening. If I don't like that, I can turn it off. Or I could say, you know, hey, I like it, but maybe that's a little too aggressive. I could dial it back. Face slimming? Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm going to just leave it as exactly as I took it. Or I could add it back. I can also adjust how much the face gets slimmed from none to maximum. And notice, I haven't done any special fancy alignment of controls that tell me where the face is. It's just figured this out. Blemish removals, shine removal. So you notice there's a little shine right here. Our really bright spots. I click on that. It takes care of those. Red eyes. Eye enhancements. Watch what happens here on my eyes when I click eye enhance. Pretty big difference. Basically, it's filling in those eye sockets, making a lot brighter, more uh, detailed in the dark areas, and so on. Eye enlargement. In this particular case, it has, uh, hasn't really done anything. Sometimes I've noticed that there are faces where it doesn't really seem to get it. Um, but, you know, it didn't hurt anything. Um, so generally when I see that uh, case where it doesn't do anything, I'll just turn it off. Um, for dark circles big difference. And if I wanted an even bigger difference, I could come in here and crank it up even more. Or I can dial it back if I want to leave some of that in there. So this is really great. Um, you know, Within seconds, I've got a face that's been fixed up to suit whatever taste you have in terms of how you want this stuff done. You can adjust the skin softening and so on. So I come in here, click OK. Really great. Now, Another option I have at my disposal is I can always go in here and say fade and just dial back the effect a little bit. So you know, I like what it did, but I just want to kind of change overall opacity. That works as well. 
I generally, when I use this product for real, um, one of the first things I'll do, like let's take this image here, is I'll do a control J or command J to create a new layer so that way I can uh, see exactly what's happening and then just adjust the opacity as needed. So I'm going to come in here, filter, perfectly clear. And for this one, I've got the different presets available. Details is usually where I start, and sometimes I'll go over to Vivid. But since this is kind of more closer to a landscape, I'm actually going to click on this landscape preset. And look at that. Boy, that's great. Really nice, deep, dark contrast, great colors. And again, I can come in here and make changes if I want, but actually I'm pretty happy with that. Click, and I'm done. Again, I can see the before and after. And I can always, if I want to, adjust the opacity if I felt like it was a little too aggressive. Here's another example. Again, I'll usually come in, kind of click a few, see which one I like the most, but this one I know right off the bat is going to be a landscape. And as you can see, colors are a lot richer. Contrast is great. Overall, awesome job with just a single click. In fact, I've gotten so impressed with this product that I've actually started to use it on photos that I've spent a lot of time editing in Photoshop because it's like a final touch to kind of brighten things up and just give it that last little extra punch to make it ready for the web. Now, I can come in here and just go Control F and they'll do what the previous settings were and just fix it. So I haven't even had to open the UI and I've just got this image edited substantially better than what it was before. Again, before, after, and I didn't even have to open the dialog. I could have just done a control or command F after running it one time. So this product can save you tons of time. So I, I certainly uh, am a big fan of it. I've used it in the past, and, and just like some of you may have, and didn't really care for it. But the current version, the latest version of V2, is very impressive. It really gets the job done quite nicely, so I've become a big fan. Now, sometimes it does a good job, but there's definitely some things that it does that I don't like. Like in this one here, if you look at the before and after, it's kind of got a little too dark in here. I didn't really care for that. It's on the landscape preset, but that's okay. You know, I can come in and, and make some changes and address those kind of challenges. So in this particular case, um, if you watch what happens with uh, depth, if I go from high contrast to high definition, took care of that dark problem where it improved my image the way I wanted it, but it didn't uh, make it too contrasty. The other thing that I could have done is slide the slider. I can also come in for the exposure adjustments. I using, instead of using the slider, oftentimes I'll just come in and kind of experiment with the auto settings. Sometimes like this one where I want a darker look, I'll go with a low. Medium is what I usually stick with. In some cases, I'll go high. And it does a great job of brightening the image in the shadows and highlights uh, or adjusting the shadows and highlights without adjusting the overall exposure of the image and just destroying it. So really love what this thing does. Um, I will say oftentimes I will turn off sharpening because I don't like the have the sharpening included as part of this process and I'll do that sharpening later. But if you're doing a really bunch of quick edits of event photography or weddings and stuff, it's great to have that built in just to save time. So I'll go ahead and close that, do a few more examples just for fun. Here's a shot that you would think that it probably wouldn't be able to do too much with. And I've actually edited this with other products before, and I was really quite impressed with what it did right off the bat. Again, here's details, here's vivid, but once again, I like the landscape. This is the landscape shot. It did a great job. Yeah, I love what it did with the sky. It kind of brightened up the gray areas and then really brought out the red um, glow. Again, sharpening may be something you want to turn off. Before I get to that one, I'm going to go one more shot. This was shot through a nasty hotel window. 
So, you know, quality isn't as good as I'd like, but it's, you know, one of those shots that reminds you of the cool room that you had at the hotel. So I like to have it for my personal purposes, but I'm probably not going to show anybody else beyond what we're doing here. But if I come in here and go to the landscape preset, click OK, boom, I just made this look great with no effort whatsoever. So, you know, I've really been excited about this product, what it can do. And like I said, if you've tried it in the past and didn't like it, I hear you. I really didn't like this product in the past, but the latest version, they seem to finally got things right, and it's really been awesome from what I've seen. Come in here to perfectly clear for this face, and we're in landscape. Ugh, Carl, oh, boy, that's really bad. Sometimes for people, you know, honestly, I'll just come in here and just do details and, and find it good. In this particular case, I don't like what it's doing to hair, and a lot of things aren't, aren't really going very good. Beautify, essentially what this does is it does the basic beautification without being too aggressive. Beautify Plus adds um, more aggressive things like the face slimming and a little bit more intense uh, removal of dark circles and so on. So you'll see it's a little bit more aggressive. And at this point, you know, she's kind of looking a little more plasticky than I'd like, just a little over the top. So oftentimes I'll just go to Beautify and call it done, but we're going to go ahead and Beautify Plus just to show you some things. Again, we can choose to save sharpening for later. Um, you know, teeth whitening, if you look before and after, it really kind of went pretty intense. So I'll just might dial that back. Leave the teeth whitening there. Just dial it back. Face slimming, just turn that off in this particular case. Or if I wanted to leave it, maybe I dial it back. Blemish removal, did a good job there. Got rid of some little minor blemishes through here. Shine removal, see how it's kind of bright in there? Gets rid of that. And this is essentially what I'll do, is I'll go through and just turn these things off to try to figure out what did it do? Did it make my image better or worse? Auto red eye didn't do anything, so if it's not used doing anything, then I just get rid of it. The skin tone, you see what that does? It kind of takes the skin tone from more red to more neutral. Don't really care for that, so I'm going to turn that off. Perfectly smooth, that's the skin softening. And that's where we see, you know, a lot of the skin flaws go away, but that's where also things get a little too plasticky. So what we'll do is we'll just dial that back a little bit. Another big one that oftentimes is the one that you need to find um, that's kind of going over the top is the dark circles. A big difference, but maybe it's a little too much. So let's go ahead and bring a little bit of those dark circles back just to make it feel a little more real. Eye, eye enlargement, again, this particular image, it didn't do anything. But if I come in here, crank it all the way up. Yeah, this particular one didn't do anything either. And that's what I've seen. Some images it gets it, some images it doesn't. So just come play around with it. Generally, people have big eyes, it doesn't do much. When they have really small eyes, that's where you see it. Um, eye enhance. See how the color looks right here? I click on eye enhance. Boom, gets real bright and vivid. Sometimes that's a little too much, so you can just dial it back a little bit. And again, this is all to suit your taste. If you like the changes that you made, you can create a new preset, which is accessible through this drop-down list, and then just click OK. Boom. And, you know, really, I don't know of any other product that can help you get these kind of results this quickly. And to be able to do this to a large scale of, you know, travel photos and event photography photos, wedding photos, it's a real big time saver. So certainly advise you to check it out. I have a special offer on my blog to make it even easier for you. And it's a pretty affordable product, so be sure to give it a try. Uh, it's also a free trial. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Good luck. Bye-bye.